Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse large jigsaw puzzle? a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. oh. Fraser, uh. look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go. Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Not you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. So, mountains and lake bed. Yes and yes. Right, you're the military expert. What's the sub strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious, practical, mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised the sword's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right, all the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. 
I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way. And then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. <laughs> Look up there. Parashrama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashrama... Parashurama. Parashurama. Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. There. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Now where do we go? Up! We go up. I wish I'd brought my gloves. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was going talk. That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. Okay. We're all clear. It won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. Ugh. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Think a source men know what they're looking for? Follow me! The Dean. All friends up ahead. They don't know we're here. Good. Site secure. Well done. And you said I was like a bull in a china shop. I never said that. <gasps> no, but you thought it. Get uh, me there. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. <gasps> Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. <gasps> Perfect. 
That should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. <coughs> oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. <coughs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. <coughs> Wouldn't dream of it. <coughs> There you are, having fun. <laughs> Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this <laughs> looks safer than the playground at my school. Uh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Let's turn the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Well, my dad was obsessed with it. We spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. And now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asab fight over it. None of our concerns. Once more, with gusto. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Shiva. Who's the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. They're not going to be Definitely not. <sighs> hey, I don't have a gun. Sure, in reverse. You're welcome. Huh? 
Can we go? Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. In. The water's fine. I mean, don't drink it. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Oh. God. A bit hard on the wrists. I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. <gasps> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <laughs> oh shit! Statue moved again. <laughs> Careful! I don't like the looks of this. Look out! Two different symbols now. A star and wings. 
They're all Hoysala sons. I like the descriptions better. Yeah. Feels good to be outside. With men in there. Death. Smelt like death. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. server and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! 